Hey, is everything okay? I can come in, right? I, I don't want to just walk in, so. All right. Hey, hey, Happy. Move to the side a bit. I, I think we have to talk to them about what's going on. I don't know why they're seeming so down. Yeah, it's sad, isn't it? It's making me want to cry. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm going to check on them. I'll see what I can do. All right? <clears throat> Happy, calm down, calm down. <clears throat> hey, friend. Uh, Happy and I were wondering what's going on. Is everything okay? Well, it's just you. You look very sad, and uh, we were kind of expecting to walk in and see a smile. You know, like a a really big smile, like you usually do. Especially after such a a long day. It's been about how many hours, Happy? Ah, uh, about eight. Yeah. Whew! <laughs> I'm almost ready to just go to sleep, but we wanted to stop by and see how you were doing. You kind of looked like uh, you weren't really engaged, and it just didn't make sense. I don't want to sound like I'm being nosy, because I'm not a nosy person, to be honest with you. Uh, but I know that it's probably been a rough week for you, or the last few weeks have been very rough on you. And every time we try to talk about it, you push it off to the side. You try to have some reason for why it's not important. And I understand a little of privacy, personal space, boundaries. I get it. But I care about you, you know? I'm sure there's a lot of people who care about you. I know that we're all dealing with what we're going through, and sometimes we have to go through it by ourselves, but that doesn't mean that we have to do that every time and all the time, and you know? I don't know if I'm making any sense. What I'm trying to say is you can open up to me. You can open up to happy. And I'd hope that there's people around you that you can open up to, too. Even if it's not <laughs> your best friends, right? Right? You, yeah, we're totally your best friends. <laughs> but, uh... I don't feel like it's okay for us not to try, at least. So... If you want to open up, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. And I'm all ears. What do you mean you'll sound stupid? You know what sounds stupid? Me fighting Gray every day about him taking his shirt off randomly. That's a bit stupid, okay? You know what sounds stupid? Me puking. <laughs> that sounds stupid. You know what sounds stupid? A lot of things. But guess what? I'm probably still going to argue with Gray and tell him to keep his clothes on. And so, some things you just can't help. I'm sure what you're going through doesn't sound stupid. It may sound stupid to you, 
But it wouldn't sound stupid to me. It's something that is important to you. I care about that. I want to know how to help. It can't be stupid. If it means something in some type of way. And when I say mean something, you know, in this situation, letting it off your chest is going to help. At least I'd hope it can help. So, again, if you don't want to tell me anything, you don't have to. It's, it's completely up to you, all right? I'm, I'm going to <laughs> lower my voice a bit, all right? Um, you know, I had a few times where I felt down and out of it. And <sighs> felt like there was no point in trying what I was aiming for anymore. I always thought, well, how come it feels like everyone else is moving forward and I'm just here? And then and somehow that led me to meet you and to meet so many other amazing people. What I realized was I was constantly comparing how things were and what it was in the past in terms of my strength, in terms of what I had, in terms of what I felt I could offer to fairy tale that wasn't focused on what I have right now, who's in front of me right now, who means something to me right now. One day, this is going to change too, friend, because nothing lasts forever. Everyone that I've met that has parted ways and go on to live their life Outside of fairy tale, I still keep some of the memories in here. Because even if I wanted to, it shaped me into the person that I wanted to be. Every moment, the good and the bad. Even when I lost Ignea. <laughs> there were so many days, so many months, I spent just thinking to myself, why? You know? But then, happy to me. Instead of asking about the why, ask about how strong you'll be after this. Ask about what strength you'll need to find next. Ask yourself, who are you? Are you someone that's going to let this knock them down forever? Or when you're ready, and only you know when, you'll get back up. You'll figure out where you are now. And from that, you'll keep going on. And then suddenly, <laughs> you won't be asking why. Hopefully. I mean, it, it's worked out for me a couple of times. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be so sappy. <sighs> but it's nice to hear you laugh again. Come over, Happy. Here, we brought you something. <laughs> it's been a year since we all met each other, so Happy and I thought it would be a good idea to draw you an artwork. Yup. 
hand drawn by your best friend. Let's see. Oh, okay, so Happy drew this part. I did this one right here. Yeah, thank you. You know, <laughs> I've been learning a thing or two, so trying to work up those art skills. Ah, <laughs> oh, how fun. I'm glad that you like it. You could keep it. Of course, it's yours. We made it for you. <laughs> it's no problem. This is a friendship that I never thought I'd have. To be honest with you, it never seemed possible. Well, except for, you know, <laughs> with the friends that you already know I have. <laughs> I mean, but with you, it's kind of different. I mean, I don't really see the others that often anymore. I feel like we've all been focusing on ourselves and making sure that we're all ready to go out on the next adventure whenever it comes. Throughout this time period, I've been able to get closer to you and get to know you more and hear about the different adventures you've been on. And they're so amazing and so exciting, and I'm just so ah, <laughs> pumped, I guess, to see where this can go next. I, uh, <clears throat> I actually like you. Did I say that out loud? I said that out loud. Wow. It was like my reflexes just did not kick in when they could have. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I, um, oh, oh, huh. I know, I know my face is pink. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, happy, where's the water? Pour it on me. So, uh, you know, me and Happy, we're gonna get ready to go, have a good night, um, sleep. Definitely get some sleep, that's what I'm going to do. No, 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 we'll talk about this another time. Okay, um, any last words, Happy? Any, anything you want to say to them before we go? Cool, all right, let's go now. <laughs> Good night. Good, good night. Nope. Nope. You can't say that. You talked to me about something important and now I'm not. You're going to make me sound like a hypocrite. Listen. Listen. We can talk about this at a different day. I don't know why I just blurted that out. <sighs> we'll talk about it a different day. At a place I feel would be a lot more sentimental. And <laughs> I'm also kind of nervous, as you can see. This is something that took a lot of courage to build up and say. And um, I just thought I never would. But I guess that's why you can't have these expectations of what you may not do and what you might do in the future because one day you might just build up the courage to tell someone that you like that well you like them A anyway happy's waiting i i got to go thank you for being awesome like you always are and I hope you get some good rest. You deserve it. You've been going through a lot. I know how hard it is sometimes to get some sleep with circumstances like that. Okay. I'll see you then. Yeah. Yeah. 